Okay, this is gonna be a very short gameplay because I'll play the. I might continue playing the rest of that other our game on, well, basically the GameCube, which you already know what you saw twice in a row now. This is gonna be a very short one. Classic Donkey Kong Jr. on the NES. And most likely the arcade when it first came out in the 80s. This one should not take too long, so here we go. Let me turn it up a little bit louder. Alright, here we go. Gotta watch out for those clam traps that first appeared in this game. Not Donkey Kong on country, but this is their very first appearance in the 80s. And like every video game cliche, you have to be. You didn't see that. Be careful not to get bitten like that. This game is very short, so I'll give it that. One hit, you die. Just gonna avoid all those dangerous chompers there. And already died. I think you only have like three lines in this game. So basically, they're playing Donkey Kong Jr., which hasn't appeared in like forever now. All since Super Mario Maker. You're rescuing your own granddad, Donkey Kong, from Mario, who's the bad guy for some reason. Don't ask me why, but this is pretty much how the game is. In the levels, you have to make sure you jump precisely. A few inches off the ground, you die. Just like Mario. Or what he's called Jumpman, and... Great. Had to start over. Not much else to say, but you can use fruits to jump up. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not talking today right now. Drop on enemies. Trying to keep this tablet still. So yeah, I'm, I really need to try to figure out how this game works. I haven't played this game in a long time since we used to have like a free short television that I played it on, and that not only plays TV but plays old VHS tape. That's where I played it at. It's pretty much how like old classic games like this has amazing 8-bit graphics. Just gonna avoid the enemies that are obviously dropping eggs. But, I, but other players think they're dropping some bird poop on them, but to me they're dropping eggs. Oh yeah, this one you have to Time your jumps perfectly, or that'll happen. Alright, you gotta watch out for those sparks. If you die like free time, you're gonna go back to the beginning of the level. I'm, there's like several levels in the game. Not too many. He would think Gwalba of this game is very short, or this would take a long time. So yeah, I really don't got much else to say that you can easily beat this game in less than in 8 minutes. Alright, the last stage, gotta go ahead and add the keys up. Just gotta avoid the enemies that are coming around over the screen. It gets a little bit tougher at times, not knowing when the enemies are going to appear and go side to side. It's just pure dumb luck if you're going to get lucky to do it at the right moment. Alright, one more key and... Great. Last life. <clears throat> Hold on a second, let me see. Um... 
sorry you have to have seen that. There was something wrong with the gameplay, you know, on a different channel. Let's see, um... Just give me a second. Got trying to get it going. Sorry, you're looking at, at this long old TV screen with the NEC. Let's see. Um, all right, here we go. Got it back on. All right. It's going to start all over. Gotta try not to screw up like last time. I'm gonna try to get lucky at this game. I feel like I'm doing like a shorter gameplay, something that I already been a long time ago as a kid. Sort of. I'm pretty sure I did play this game in 2009 or 10. It's been a long time. The faster I can get past this, the faster I can make this video a bit shorter and you guys will agree that you think that Donkey Kong Jr. is probably better than the first Donkey Kong arcade game. AKA on the NES, since it does have both of them. There's also a Donkey Kong Jr. math game where you solve numbers, and yeah, that's all you do. It does have multiplayers, right? You gotta be careful. Alright, it's gonna be a pretty short game. I'm actually gonna, gonna win it at that last. Didn't take any hits. Alright, come on. Come on. Yes! And that's it. The game is B then. And since you're all the way back to the beginning. Alright, I don't want to end this video too shortly, so we're gonna do it again one more time. I'll make sure I make this video like maybe like less than. and nearly be nine minutes, I guess. Yeah, I really don't got much else to say that you just basically drop fruits on enemies that are quite useful. Getting high scores? Eh, it doesn't matter. You're like one of those classic kids that were born in the 80s or 90s. Is that you'll get lucky to try to get this far into the game. That you're rather playing this on the NES or the arcade. The graphics look pretty nice from an old 8-bit style, of course. I do like the weird sound effects like in this level. Alright, I'll just go ahead and say it. I think this game is slightly better than the arcade of Donkey Kong. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Just had to cut this one very shortly for 9 whole minutes. So please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and more views about my classic Let's Play Donkey Kong Jr. for the NES. See you then, everyone.